Hey guys, so in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to build a full stack application in Flutter where I'm going to make use of Node.js as a backend with MongoDB database. So basically, we are going to build a to-do application in Flutter where the user will be able to register himself into the application and get logged in into the application using his credentials and will be able to create his own to-do nodes. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this tutorial will be covered in part wise. So in this part, I'm going to cover how to create a Node.js application and how to install different modules for our Node.js backend. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here I have opened my Visual Studio IDE. So first of all, we need to create a folder for our Node.js project. So you can just go to this open folder and in desktop i have created a empty folder named node.js project so just open it in your ide something like this okay so to make this folder as your node.js application you need to run some command so just go to this terminal new terminal okay and here you just need to enter npm in it Okay, so to run uh, npm, first of all, we need to install Node.js in our computer. So you can just visit Google and install Node.js in your PC. So here, after entering, you can see it is asking you your uh, Node.js project uh, name. So you can just keep it empty or you can just give a name. So I will just give as to do and version is 1.1.1. .1 so just enter, enter, enter everything. So there is no re much required for the demo purpose. Okay, so you can see after doing in it, your project has created a new JSON file that is packet.json file where your all the requirement of your Node.js application is listed over here. For example, name of your project, version, description, and owner and everything. Okay, so our Node.js project is ready. Okay, so we need to install different modules that is dependency or you can call it as library for our Node.js project. So we need to install them such as Express, NodeMailer, Mongos, MongoDB and body parser and various modules that are required in our project. So let's install them and learn how to install it. So here in the terminal just enter npm install and specify the module or a dependency that you want to install. For example, I want to install Express that has been used to create a Node.js project for creating APIs, routes and everything. So I'm going to make use of Express for that. And the second thing is Mongoose. And then I'm going to make use of body parser. So let's use them. Okay, so you can just enter uh, as many as uh, modules you want to install over here. So let's wait. Okay, so once the uh, modules has been successfully installed in our system or in our project, you can see a node model uh, project folder has been created automatically. And you can see in our package.json file, there is a dependency uh, key has been created that is object has been created inside which this packages are been included okay uh, and we can install different uh, modules such as bcrypt uh, json web token and everything jwt okay so let's uh, install that also okay so i just forgot one more uh, package to be installed that is nodemon okay so let's install it so it is basically used in uh, automatically restarting our server or our backend whenever there is changes in our code okay so let's install it node npm install node mon okay so it has been installed in our uh, node.js project okay so now let's create files for our node.js project so here first of all just click over here in this uh, project structure and just click on this icon that is new file and here first of all create index.js that will be our starting point of our node.js application and then create one more file that is app.js where we are going to make use of express.js to create routes and everything okay so here first of all let's install express.js 
so you if you want to import any package you just need to make use of required keyword and express that package something like this okay and then uh, here const app is equal to express so i am just making use of this const variable to import our express model so i am just creating an instance of it okay and now let's make use of module dot export and we are going to export our app that is our express so that we can make use of this uh, app.js anywhere inside our project by importing this app.js file okay okay so now let's import this file in index.js and create our uh, express server okay so here const app is equal to require dot slash app okay so by doing this everything that is in this folder will get imported in this index.js now you can just create your server so to create your server uh, first of all we need to define a port so let's create a const uh, variable over here so our port will be running on 3000 you can keep it anything as per your need so i will just keep it uh, as usual that is 3000 and now here x app dot listen and here specify the port and declare it as a function something like this so here let's give a log saying that our server is running on this port okay so let's save this and run our project so let's check the output so to run our project all you need to do is you just need to use node and your file that you want to execute so in our case it is node.js okay so i think something went wrong so it is giving an error so let's check it out okay so here express will be a function so you just need to declare it as a function okay so now let's run so you can see our server is running on this port okay so now let's create a simple route where whenever we hit our uh, this port will get executed and we will get a response on our browser okay so for that here app dot so we are going to create a get request so get and our uh, route will be a root folder so root here we need to declare two requests that is request and response of for the our browser and declare it as a function something like this okay and here uh, response dot send and just pass a message so i will just pass hello world okay uh, and let's save this file and then run our project and node install uh, index.js sorry okay so our uh, app has been running on this port so let's check it out so when i hit this 3000 port you can see i'm getting hello world as a response so let's change the message and check okay so i need to stop this project and restart it to check the changes so you can see okay so as you saw i need to stop this app for any changes to be reflected so for that i have installed a package called as node mailer so let's use that so to use that all you need to do is just go to this script tag over here and here just remove this or you can just give a comma over here and here define a new parameter that is due tag and inside due tag you just need to make specify which file you want to run whenever you make any changes okay so node mon i want to run index.js so i'm just defining whenever there is any changes in our file and i just save the file node mod will uh, rerun this index.js file okay so let's do that and let's check if it is work if it is working or not so to run our node mon all you need to do is you just need to make use of npm run bev so we have declared this key we want to run 
and whenever we run by making use of run key so we are just defining to run our node mon index.js okay so to run this you just need to run this command okay so you can see node mon is running okay so now if i do any changes over here so let's view something like this message and save it you can see node mon is getting restarted and reflecting our data on our server side okay so let me add two more dots hit save and you can see it has been running on this port with the latest update okay so that's all for this video tutorial let's meet in our second part